me tell you how much it sucks that on the year I graduate, we lost. I know, that's so ridiculous. I was so excited. I bought this new outfit just to wear to the championship game, and now I can't even wear it. And so let's see it. Okay, well, it's, it's nice. Isn't it cute? It was, wow, it was only $19? $19. Stick. I know. Quality. I only go for quality. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, I'm still going to have a big party. Yeah, I'd want to come. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it'll be awesome. Nice. I don't know. Maybe Chad will come too. I really don't care if Chad comes. <laughs> <laughs> Chad can stay at home. Maybe his whole frat will come, and that'll be a great time. So, did you guys um, hear about that transvestite in Alice's class this week? Yeah, I saw her. She was wearing that dress. Or I guess he. Yeah, and those shoes. His shoes were totally cute. Do you remember his nails? They were so, they were long. so long. But it was an awesome manicure, so it, it's okay. So, Jen, you're an RA, and I'm a TA. But who assists us? No one. That's why we have to stick together. Oh, Joseph. You're so great. So where is Jen? I don't know. Yeah, I told her to be totally in a quarter two. Like, I have no idea where she could have been. I haven't seen what her. What is she doing? I don't know what she's doing, but she better have a pretty dark excuse. Good excuse. Yeah, she's so always with us. I don't understand. Yeah. Right, Jen? Ah! Jen! The window seat systems were like, you know, a bit more functionality there. And uh, there are bigger systems. And uh, I just don't know. But yeah, but look at some of those tricks. I mean, how much cooler can you get? But can you turn on the pilot system on your pilot to improve its efficiency? Doesn't matter. Well, I don't doesn't know. Matter. It really doesn't matter. Do you know why the pot the pilot system's down? Um, it's down. I just blame student network services again. And I called them and they said, "You're using a Red Hat Linux running a virtual PC on a Macintosh? It would be so much better if it was just wireless. Wireless. So that, like in the lab." Um, I was switching over and trying to decide, should I go with an Apple base station or should I go with one of those new Lucent modules? Definitely the Apple base station because they're so versatile. But the, but the Lucent ones look like uh, irons and toasters. You can't beat that for style. Well, but, well, and I think that the Apple model has a lot to say for it, looking like a UFO and all. Uh, but, uh, can I set those, those up with a Windows server as the base station controller? I think that that's pretty possible, as a matter of fact. It might be difficult to get your 10 base T LAN configuration to match it appropriately, but I think if you worked hard enough at it, then you could. But how many end things could you hold on such a computer? Three? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get all those papers graded last night? Yeah, but I lost half of them on my car window on the way to Crunchies. It's right. the end of the semester, I don't grade anymore. Yeah, <laughs> I don't get one point. We've only got one more lab to go. Oh, what you. Alright, well, bye. See, See you guys. You. Did you make the stuff up for the jails? No, I didn't. Yeah, someone probably should. I hate this job. Yeah. I like to dispute and debate questions that arise in class, and a lot of group work, too. Um, and that's probably some of the best experiences that I've ever have have had have happened in the smaller group structures. So, well, I'd have to say one of the coolest experiences I ever had in a class was during the Lyman Briggs physics class, the first physics class, when the professor put on a safari outfit and went shooting for monkeys off the ceiling. It was a little <laughs> bizarre, but it was quite cool. Uh, of actually reading a little more about how the scientific world is before you actually proceed into it is uh, I found that quite interesting um, especially the professor I had but the lasting impression on me Robert Shelton he, I thought he was really excellent. I really like the biology biology, and I like the STS classes or the science based not English based. We always had a group that got together for um, on Monday nights to work physics problems and we would meet, and you'd have to have done the problems ahead of time, and then we'd go over them and agree on how to do them, and then we'd draw numbers on who would put what into the computer first, because if you put it in right on the first try, you got extra credit. 145 class, when we did the lactose operon with toilet paper, and we're throwing you know, toilet paper around the room and having a good time in the operon theater. And... I had Dr. Syed, and she was, she was probably the funniest teacher. <laughs> her head, just because she had a she had a funny personality, but um, and she would like bring little things in. And the T one time the TA taught, and they they'd really try to get us to understand, you know, like say transcription or something like that. When I had Alice Drager for STS, um, 
there was a man came in who was dressed up as a woman, but I didn't read the syllabus that day. And so I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and, and I sat down and I thought that it looked like a man, but I wasn't sure because, you know, it, I mean, it could have passed for a woman. And then he talked and then I understood what was going on and she, she introduced him, but like for the first 10 minutes. And then I think I saw him like walking to class, like he's out in the hallway. And so I'm like, huh. And I think it's like 10:20. I think I had this class at 10:20, so it was like, whoa, what's going on?